The 10th Street mural project is, I think it was initiated by the Electric Power Board Company. This property sits in, you know, an area of the city that has a lot of historical resonance uh, being right on the other side of 9th Street or MLK now. And so I think they wanted to be able to animate the space with something that would really resonate with residents, people that are in the area, students at UTC, people that work downtown and that commute here. I became involved from learning about an open call they did for artists to be involved in one of these initial murals. And unfortunately, the design I submitted was among those selected. And so I'm just basically lucky to, to be a part of it. There's a different feel with the gravity of this project. And I live, work, and play in this community. My gallery is right around the corner, and, and just to know that I was able to complete that as a, as a black artist, as a female artist, and just as an artist in general, and it's really humbling and exciting. I think it's very important for the city to have this representation of really great art that's really producing an inspirational message for the city. In such a time where there's such racial tension, I think this project is very timely and very necessary for the day that we're living in. With my panel, I have a lot of text. I'm, I'm the only one probably other than, um, I think that's Julius's panel. But my hope was for people to stop and actually take it in and read the names and remember the history. And in and, and, and remembering and mentioning and speaking the names, that's like memorial to them. It's, it's always, um, they're always in the atmosphere. So that's, that's exactly what I want, is for people to stop, take a moment, actually read it, and take it in. This is my mural piece. This is an experience that I had back in 2019 at the Bessie Smith Center. They had a concert out front, and there was an interracial couple there dancing in front of the Bessie Smith Center, and it just caught my attention. It seemed like they were the only two people there. They were just so purely and freely in love with each other, and they just didn't care about anybody else around them. And so when I decided to paint them, I wanted to make sure that I portrayed that in lively and vibrant colors. My inspiration, the concept is titled With Her Head in the Clouds of History. It features a young woman who, within her hair, that's going to be kind of flowing and, and very uh, strong and prominent in the, the, the painting. It's going to show certain images of like musicians, cultural leaders, people that represent the history, the culture, and the vibrancy of the MLK district. There are so many changes in this MLK community right now, and some are welcomed changes, and then some are, you know, not so welcomed, to be honest with you. And, and so with this beautification, as long as there is still connection to the history of the district and, and a connection to the history of the area, I do believe it lends a positive impact and the community, being a member of the community, I appreciate that there are messages behind the beautification and that it's a beautiful wall commemorating this beautiful district. I'm very glad about the proximity of the mural to UTC and, and to students in the area. I remember walking as a student myself along MLK or 10th Street back and forth to downtown in the campus and none of this was going on. And so I was so desperate to see some activation and everything. And so I feel really lucky to play a little role in, in that that's happening for uh, the current students and future students in the area.